Black Lives Matter is fun by the White House, ma'am. By Obama, George Soros. What about the people who are marching for black? Lives? All lives matter. Number one, all lives matter. Okay? God made us all. God made us all. All lives matter. So if you want to separate yourself and put yourself on a platform about black life, but what about that yellow man? What about that orange person? What about that purple person? What about them? The claim of the Black Lives Matter is that African Americans are sort of kind of targeted. They get more killed. We want them to matter. Hold on a second. Black, the most, this is what's going to, this is what happens in black uh, neighborhoods. It's black on black. It's black on black what kills these young youths in their neighborhoods. The, the, the Democratic Party has owned the black neighborhoods for over 60, 70 years. Look at them. Look at them. And they give us, give you a black president who's a Muslim. He is, he supports radical Islam. From the White House, they the ones who created ISIS. Look at their policies. Look at their policies. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Why is it that every black person I know, every black parent I know, yes. who I live in a neighborhood with, has to give their children a special instruction for what they should do and not do when they go out so that they don't get stopped by the police? Right, that's what, they, that's what they should but, teach them. But, that's what they're but, teaching them. But, but, but that, that's, they're, they're not teaching them that. But this, they're, they're not teaching them that. Let me explain something. Not teaching them. The families, you know why? Yes, they are. Because a lot of black, but listen. Does. That. Let me tell you, you know rap music is designed to bring the black neighborhood down. Let me explain question. something. If you're walking down the street with your you pants can't. hanging down and you're listening to rap, and this the rap is giving people the images, sell drugs, um, be a drug dealer, calling people so bitches and hoes, the rap in industry contributes to how blacks treat each other. But what about, let, let me finish. What about the black men who are dressed nicely, yes. driving in nice cars, yes. and are treated like criminals as if they stole the cars? Listen. That has nothing to do that with rap no, right. music. But, that, uh, has yes, their, that has right. to do with their lives not mattering as much as other people's lives. Do you, do you don't think white people get pulled over? And, not as much. Right, maybe. You're, yeah, you're right. You might have a point there. I do still, have a point. Most crime is, is black on black. It's not we're cops not talking, killing. We're not talking about it's not black, cops killing we're not black. We're talking about black on black crime. Right. We're talking well, then you about, about Black Lives Matter until you talk about that. Right. My man. No, you got we're it. talking about black people not being safe when they go out when they're treated by the police and more and It's time for the black neighborhoods to start taking care of their own neighborhoods. One of the problems with the black community is how we're perceived. So look, when we're talking about rap, when we when when you compare it to the statistics, how 40% of violent crimes are committed by young black men. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a perception. It is a perception. When we talk about, when we, you go on the internet and we, we talk about selling drugs, pimping women, arm trafficking, fraud, and all these things, and people who don't live in black Which neighborhoods, from people, who don't, people who don't live in black neighborhoods, gentry neighborhoods, they don't, they, all they see is, is what they know on, the online. White House is and, and it's, it, is a per, it is a perception. Is and, when we hear, and, when we, and when we hear police officers, 40% of the police officers who were killed in the line of duty were killed by young black men, it is, it is only reasonable sometimes, not saying this is bad, Sometimes it is reasonable to, for a police officer to, to handle black men with a little bit more caution than it is for a, a five foot two Chinese man, for instance. Whether because they're because statistically they're not committing violent crimes, statistically they're not killing cops. Now, for instance, okay, so if if, uh, if a police officer pull over an Arab in in Manhattan, right? Oh, let me just ask. Let me just put one. one, one okay, sure. Go ahead, go, okay, go ahead. Most of the uh, mass shootings in this country. When was the last one that was done by a black person? Uh, the, 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 the sniper. I'm talking mass shoot. I'm talking about mass shootings of innocent. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the police. I'm not saying that was a good thing. So, if we have all these mass shootings of people with guns killing children and killing innocent people, why aren't we more suspicious of white folks carrying around guns? Well, they are. I mean, white people. White. 
Well, white white people. The, no, the, the thing is, the thing is, we're when we're talking about black crime and white crime, we're talking about proportionality, right? No, no. So, 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 so here's the thing. So here's the thing, right? So I think it was about five thousand, five thousand, or uh, three thousand, five thousand. Are you talking about police killings or or, uh, or just white on white violence? I, I'm not talking about race. I'm talking okay. about people responsible for mass shootings in this country. But how many mass shootings occur as opposed as opposed to just killing mass shootings occur as opposed as opposed to just killings on the streets of our cities? And what's the, what would you say the ratio of, say, a mass shooting to shooting in a neighborhood? Okay, well, I can't argue with right. you. You want to ban the gun? You want to ban the gun? What's that? You're saying you're wanting to focus on these mass shootings and they're not being committed I, by black people. I'm but you want to ignore everything, all no, of that. I just want, as if it's more important. I just want a black person walking down the street to be treated the same way as a white person walking How down the street. How long have you been African American? Because you seem to know a lot more than these gentlemen about being black. I, I, I live in a community with black and African American friends. So you have friends. black friends? I do too. But are you going to say that black people walk down the street? Absolutely. In my depending on where you live. It depends on where you live. It depends on where you live. It just depends. So you're going to tell me that women don't hold their purses closer, or you don't lock your door when you're going through a black neighborhood? Do you do that when you're driving through a white neighborhood? Have you seen how I've been carrying my purse out here with a thousand people I don't know? I'm at, I'm at not as any more concerned around all these people I don't know of all these nationalities than I am anywhere else. But, but, but the thing is, I've been but, walking around and people have been telling me I don't know what I've been talking about but, all day. But the point is this, most crime is black on black. Right. It's black on talking black. About black okay, on black. Okay. It is a huge, it is a huge problem. It's not the cop. It's, it's the, the it's, if we if we could reduce the, the the main point is if we could reduce the amount of black on black crime and violent crime committed by blacks, it will reduce the perception of, of a threat when it comes down to, when it comes down to how people are perceived, black people are perceived in America. The only thing that Mr. Trump cares about you. He's hired more black people than probably you have. You know, more Muslims than anybody else has. But he insults and them all the time. Insults by black people or Muslims, women? He's just very, he insults anybody who doesn't agree with him. What about all the Muslims? Obama's killed more Muslims than Donald Trump has. Just, 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 just. We can't have a rational conversation. You know what? Yeah. Obama has killed more, more Muslims than Donald Trump has. I didn't I didn't argue I didn't I didn't argue I didn't argue that. Well, he, 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 he did he got the Nobel Peace Prize that was his credit and then he ended up going to destroy Syria and now we're in oh yeah yes him he, well, how did yeah. he destroy Syria the limited airstrikes that Vladimir Putin told him not to not to do China said hey you know and I, I don't well there are things that I do like about Putin. He doesn't like to go and invade countries and destabilize them. Like what? One of the things he's. One of the things I like about Putin is the fact that he he understands that the Western Western presidents historically, at least uh, from Bush, from Clinton all the way to Bush, we have been we have been toppling a lot of dictators that are democratically elected. The the mullahs. Uh, I mean the the uh, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood that was put into power after after uh, <laughs> after the military coup. That was another one that uh, uh, that uh, Vladimir Putin warned against, and we did it anyways. And then now this whole invade and invite series. I'm going to go because I don't want to listen to this anymore, but okay, I'm just well, going mean, to say, let me just tell you, I will be really glad when you guys are all done and you leave, and Ohio can go ahead and vote against Trump because he's going to lose here. And nobody wins the presidency without winning Ohio. That's fine. He will lose here. Take it easy. Say hi. Hug a black guy for me. Hug, hug a black guy for me. You want a hug? Sure, of course. I'll give you a hug. There you go. You take, you take hug? Huh? What was the point of that comment? I just said hug a black guy for me. why? What were you trying to because, communicate? Because, because it seems like you have this warped perception on how black people are treated. I know what and, I hear and, from and people I, and I know who are black. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you one of the, one of the most... I live in a neighborhood that's 70% black, and this is what I hear from and my I friends. And I did too. I, look, I, well, I, what do your I, friends say? Okay, so I lived in, in Eastside San Jose. Which, which is predominantly black and Mexican. And one of the worst things that happened in Eastside San Jose were the police officers, as you know, Mayor Licata, the police officers stopped patrolling 
uh, the, the, the neighborhood in which I lived in. You didn't answer my question. I asked what, you what my what my I asked you specifically what you were implying when you asked me to but go you asked me a black you asked bread. You never answered that. Because were you seems, implying it, it I don't seems understand? Like, it seems like your, your, your compassion can be translated in a different way other no. than speaking about black problems, which you probably have no idea. Well, <laughs> I know what I'm told by people I know. So you may represent, you know, I don't represent all white people, all Jewish people. You don't represent all black people. Absolutely. I'm telling you what I hear from the black community in my neighborhood, and it's very different than yours. I don't pretend to speak for the black community. But I don't agree with what you're saying, and it's not what I'm hearing from people I know. So you can have Very your opinion, but your comment to me to go hug a black person seemed kind of snide and belittling. So that I'm was sorry. not nice. Apology on my behalf. You enjoy your day. Good job, man. Good job. <laughs>